Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So um, during my last video uh, I had a slight issue which I didn't really know about until I sort of corrected it and that was that there was on the display on my phone once you've connected it all up on the top right it said in uh, a red banner no signal didn't think too much of it because all I wanted to do was um, do the IMU calibration but it said no signal at the top uh, I then couldn't get my phantom to uh, start up or anything and can move the gimbal which basically meant that for some unknown reason uh, I've lost the signal between the controller and the phantom thinking it might be something to do with where I was or something like that um, I've had a look into it certainly wasn't that so I got a bit stuck really anyway I've managed to fix it and today's video I am going to show you how to do that so you're going to need your DJI Go app and that once shown the live feed will show at the top there where it's a safe to fly in my case will be red with no signal and you're going to be wanting to click on the right hand side button that looks like a plug and then like a Wi-Fi signal you need to click on that button and up will pop a menu which you then need to click on linking controllers down the bottom click on that then once that's started you then need to uh, access the phantom turn it over and follow the instructions as per my next clip so what we'll find is that this button here um, is going to be red um, you then need to stick like a pencil in there and this in there is a, basically a reset button and you keep holding that down until it flashes and turns green and then that will have linked back your phantom uh, back to the remote so there you have it it's a very simple way to reconnect your remote back up to the phantom generally does it happen often um no but given that i haven't actually flown this yet um you have to question why it's happened the reason i suspect it's happened is because it's had uh, two to three update firmware updates already and that's the reason why it's dropped out generally though i don't think you should be ever needing to pair them up uh, unless you have to replace the controller itself but uh, just be mindful that when you go out um onto the ground that you potentially if it's got a firmware update that you might experience that problem so use your DJI Go app make sure everything's turned on and make sure you've got something to put into the little button uh, under there for the reset so I hope that's been of use to you uh, thank you for watching um, and don't forget my website dronesco.uk to find out more information on the uh, Phantom, the DJI line, my Walkera Scout X4 and various other bits and pieces. And until next time, thank you very much. Thumbs up please uh, for the video is always helpful. And uh, again, all your comments are read and I will try to reply back to all of them. Thank you and uh, see you soon.